Hi, yeah, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts, and welcome to today's Cricut classroom for the explore now today we're going to be starting off by looking at the Cricut design space which is the design software for your Cricut explore so I've already done a video showing how to install the design space and I've also done a video showing you how to set up your Cricut explore and I will link those in my blog that goes with this video for you plus i will set up a tab on my video library on my website for cricket classroom which will have all of these videos on as we go along so in order to work your explore you need to understand how to use design space and i promise you it really is simple 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 so don't get too worried about the fact that it's on a computer so the first thing you want to do is open up design space on your computer now it may be that when you first open it up that it will say that you need to do some updates or whatever but just go through that procedure okay so now quite often what you'll find is that you'll have a video come up when you first open design space so we're just going to click done now and we are now into design space proper so what you get when you go into design space is sort of some options now the first thing i think i would like to say for you to do on all occasions is to go over here to where it says account and to sign in now the reason that i say to you to do that is because it really helps when you're working on the machine that you know what images you own and what images you don't then you can see immediately if you're looking at a make it now project which i'm going to explain today whether you have images that you need to purchase and the same even with a brand new project that you create on your own you can see whether it's something you need to purchase or whether it's something you own already now if you have an account with Cricut and you have already signed in with them use that ID because they have already know about some cartridges say through Cricut craft room that um, I've got here for example that will automatically transfer between each other so whichever way around if you add a cartridge on Cricut design space it will pop up in craft room and vice versa if you purchase a cartridge through or an image through craft room it will pop up on design space so it's quite good to make sure that you use the same account id so now sign in and it's as simple as putting in your e email and your password and then you will know when you're signed in because instead of saying account up here it will have your first name so you'll know that you've done that so then let's have a little look at what we've got so in design space you'll see that we've got here a little blue box which says create new project we're going to take a look at that later but it's kind of what it says it's create a new project it's basically one from scratch so we're going to look at all about that in much more detail later on but today we're going to be looking at what these things are here and these are what are called the make it now projects kind of self-explanatory in that it is something you can make now i.e it's ready sorted it's ready to go and if you like what you see you click on it and it's there and you it's all prepared it's all organized so for example this card here let's have a look at this a nice simple card that says let it snow probably a bit late for that one now but anyway so we click on it and it opens up that project and there are a couple of things that we need to look at that will help us with that first of all we have over here a level of difficulty so this one is easy they kind of really uh, determine the difficulty on really the length of time it takes so under 30 minutes to create the project is considered an easy project so it doesn't ne just because it's difficult it doesn't actually mean it is actually something that is complicated to make it just means that it takes longer I think really uh, in some regards I think that's slightly um, misleading perhaps and then obviously you've got the picture of the finished project which is obviously quite useful sometimes you have some more thumbnails here so you can have a little click and get a different view of it down here you have the 
cuts basically that you would be required to make that project. Now here it tells you and this is why I say sign in because this is a prime example of the why. If we weren't signed in the computer wouldn't know whether we owned these cuts. Because we are signed in it knows that I have this cut or it could be that it's just a free cut anyway but whichever well, let's pretend it's one that we know that it knows that I own. So it says okay you own that so it's not going to cost you anything. You don't own this one so if you want to make this project you're going to have to give me 79 pence to purchase this cut. So then at that point you would decide well do I want to make it with this cut or perhaps I could adjust it a bit. I mean there's probably not a lot to adjust on this one but you might decide or oh, I'll fiddle around with it and change that snowflake for a snowflake I own I mean I don't know so you could potentially play around with it to make it a zero cost project but if you want to make it now as it is then you would have to purchase if it wasn't one obviously it might be that you've got them that they're all free so then you've got description this is basically just a little bit from the person who's designed it just a bit of information a little chatter from them then you've got the materials that you would be required which is quite helpful and then some instructions which sometimes are a little bit more detailed than this this is quite a simplistic card so there's not a lot really to say and then down here we've got customize and make it now so then you just click on make it now and it brings up the different mats that it will work through and cut and score for that project. Now I'm not going to go into detail about all of these different bits and pieces here and these symbols that's for a later video but this is just having a look at the make it now projects. You would then click on purchase if you needed to purchase. If you had already got all of these cuts then it would say just cut and you would click cut and it would go off you'd put your stuff on your mat and again we will be going into exactly how we do all of that in the future today we're just looking at how it works on the screen okay so now we're back to our original page here and you can see next to the make it now there was another option and that was customize if we click on that this brings it to our virtual mat that we work on if it was a new project and it gives us the opportunity to fiddle around with this if we wanted to so um, you might just simply want to change the colors so you can remember what piece of card you're going to put down because I find that quite helpful to make the colors as close to the color card that I'm going to use so that when it comes up on the screen I know which piece to put down next but it could be that you want to not have the envelope to cut so you could click on that and delete it and then when you go to cut here you don't have that fourth mat which would be asking you to insert a mat in order to cut the envelope so you know you could play around you could change the size of the card now obviously you would need to group it and change it but you've got options basically so that's what the customize is for and then all you need to do is either go ahead and cut or save it whichever you want to do now if you particularly like a make it now project that you've got clicking on customize and then click on save is a good even if you do no customization is a good way to keep it keep it for future even if you don't want to cut it immediately now I did do a video just chatting through that in more detail so again I will link that in the blog post that comes with this video and also add it into my library so I hope you found it interesting taking a look at the make it now projects I have got some videos with the make it now projects and getting going through to the cut and showing you it cutting on the machine and completing the project again I will pop that link in the corresponding blog post with this video and I will add it to the video library okay so I hope you've enjoyed and I will see you next time where we will be taking a look at 
new projects. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.